So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's video. Hope you guys had a good weekend. And uh, today we're going to be talking and promoting and going over the latest update from the old Pez Uni. Now we've transitioned over from PezUniverse.com to eFootballUniverse.com. I'm going to talk about all that stuff today. Uh, currently we only have the two leagues, the Premier League and the Skybit done. But we are going to continue to work on this by likes of Barry, the Midnight Kid, who's put in one hell of a shift. And then there's a whole bunch of other lads that have been doing the kits and making sure it's all legit. So this is the initial video that Barry put out over on Pez Universe. If you want to go over there and listen to it, you certainly can. But pretty much what this video showcases is what's been fixed, what's been updated. As you can see... The Premier League teams that all have the newer kits, right? All the players as well. And uh, apart from Arsenal and Man United, those two teams, because they're licensed, it's only going to be the fourth kit that has the uh, new Man United kit or a new Arsenal kit. We've given Man United the away kit because I think it's a little bit more sexy uh, than the home kit. And then Arsenal has the all black kit as the away kit as well. So this will enable you guys technically to start a Mars League if you want. If you want to wait, you can do. We are running sort of a limited early access. You get like 10% off. I will go over that in just a second. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the Sky Bet's done. The Premier League is done. All there with all the transfers. Now, if you're on PC, generally, you're probably better off getting things elsewhere because... There's just there's a lot more flexibility uh, with the PC version. And I'm going to be covering Pog Champions update this week as well. But if you're on the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, I don't really know if there are, if there are other people doing option files. I've no idea. We are going to continually keep updating this until eFootball comes out next year with Master League and Edit Mode, etc. Right? So this is strictly for PES 21. So as you can see, we're gonna we're gonna run through in this more in a second. I want to show you a few things. So if you do head over to PES Universe right now and you click on become a member, it's going to not let you register or sign up because as I said, we have made a brand new website, eFootball Universe. We're gonna be updating the logo and all that fun stuff later. And all the membership perks are going to be the same, but we're going to be adding more and more and more. There is no more silver. There is no more gold. We've, we've narrowed this down now to simply a plus membership just to keep things easier. I felt it was a bit harsh on silver members because you guys had to wait a lot longer than gold members to get access. So we've kept it simple. So you can scroll down. You can read about it. There is sort of the kits, as you can see. It looks fantastic. My man, you're not as awake it. I'm actually quite tempted to buy it. Then you've got Liverpool, Chelsea. As you can see, they've got the lovely crest there as well for becoming the, the champions. Uh, and then Arsenal as well with uh, the black kit. So you can read all about it right here. Right now it is 10%. There's a, there's a little bit off. And this is for the year, folks, right? I'm going to tell you this right now. This is for the year. Literally two cups of coffee and you're good to go. And as you scroll down... Type all your information in. We've, we're now partnered up with Stripe to make things much easier. As soon as you put in your name and your credit card, bosh, it's done. You're going to log in. And uh, I'm going to log in real quick just to show you uh, what it does look like. Because if you go to the Plus Hub, you will not be able to log in until you've obviously purchased the membership, the Plus membership. So let me log in and I'll show you. All right, so once you are logged in, all right, you can then go to the Plus Hub, and as you can see, you'll have access to it. You'll be able to download right now the PS4 and PS5 version of this option file. It's right there. It's right there, folks. And then we'll have the PC and Steam version as well if you want to use it on PC. But this really is much better suited uh, for the PlayStation and the PlayStation 4. But that is how... You're going to get access to this, folks, right? And then we're going to keep adding upon it and adding upon it. It will be free later on down the road, but don't start coming into the comments saying, oh, you're charging. Look, it's a membership. We've been doing this for years. Nothing is free nowadays. Everything is going up, and we're keeping the same price. I mean, look at Netflix, ESPN. They've all gone up like 10 bucks. Ridiculous. But anyway, 
that was just to show you guys how to get onto the site and register etc and as i said we are going to keep updating this we're eventually going to have obviously la liga done Serie a the bundesliga but we wanted to at least get it out there for the start of the season because generally generally the premier league is one of the more favorable leagues that people want to start with as you can see the teams have all got fluid formation so it does make the matches very very interesting i've got a short well i did play a match with this between chelsea and manchester united i'm going to show you it i recorded it on the playstation 5 in 4k and then i uploaded it but i will show you that in just a second and then the likes of manchester city as you know there's the kits home and away if you want to check this video out check it out it'll be in the description uh, but this was just giving you a real quick rundown uh, of all the teams all the players they've updated also the the stats as you can see i think harland was rated a 90. so we've given them a good old boost if they deserve one there was the manchester united kit there was uh, ten Hag there as well so we've updated the managers of course when needed uh, and then the likes of birmingham city's all been done as well so i'm now going to go ahead and go over here so here we are chelsea manchester united because we only have the official away kit i decided let's do a match where you've got you know a, a light well a, a color that's not white in this case chelsea there is raheem sterling in the lineup for you cocorella as well the new signing killer barley's in there and then for man united i went with the likes of martinez uh ericsson of course is there as well and uh, who's the who's the other left back we just bought begins with an m can't remember his name uh he is on the bench so let's just let this run I don't know how quick this is going to load because, as I said, I uploaded this to the tube. I'll make myself a little bit smaller. But there they are in all the glory. And I will say, folks, I, I went back and I played PES 21 the other night. This is the footage. <sighs> folks, the gameplay on PES 21 is just so much better than FIFA. And this is why I just, as much as FIFA's got all the bells and whistles, I still can't do the gameplay. We will play it. I know I keep saying it. We will do a career mode, probably with Man United, and I'm just going to crack on with it. But I do miss, I do miss playing Pez. Like, the gameplay's really good. I just don't understand why Konami decided to go the route they decided to go when they really had potential to make Pez, you know, a really next-level game. But... They've gone the way they've gone. So here we are. Next year, though, I am looking forward to it because I do feel like, and this isn't really the lineup. Sancho's not really a centre forward. He's playing more to the right. Bruno's playing more in the central. And I did put Donny van der Beek in there just because why not? All right, I'm going to skim this forward because I was actually messing about with the camera angles for a bit of time. And you guys won't want to see that. Pointless. But there it is. There's the footage for you. The bit of action. But yeah, I really did enjoy going back to Pez. And, you know, I, I probably want to get back to a Master League again. I've just been having one of those months, you know. I know I moved into a new house and been doing a lot, trying to fix a lot of things. Time's been limited, but no doubt. I mean, next year, yeah, as I said, with Master League and edit mode, I do think there is a lot of potential with eFootball. Uh, it's, just, it's just seeing what Konami can actually do. Anyway, I'm going to move this forward. I did score. I did score a, a relatively decent goal. I'll be honest. So here we go. Now, I was playing on full manual, as you can see by the orange bar that pops up. So it's not the best quality in the world. It looks better uh, when you make things smaller. But I am trying to run this on 4K. But anyway, here we go. Donny van der Beek found uh, Jaden Sancho. Nice little skill there. Decided, you know what, lads? Let's start this again. Donny van der Beek inside here to Ericsson. Will touch to find the Luke Shaw. Man United, what a performance they had. Pathetic against what's the name. Lovely play here. Look at this ball in. Near post delivery. And it was Marcus Rashford of all players. He put the ball in the back of the net. So there we go, folks. Nice little goal. Chelsea did score one back. I'll be honest with you. So yeah, we worked that well. A nice little move. There is Rashi De Gea celebrating. But yeah, Ericsson does find Luke Shaw. Did a little bit of a move there where you kind of you cut one way, then you just go back the other. Opened up some space. Delicious ball in. And Rashford was there. Right, now let's try and find the goal that Chelsea scored. I have no idea where it is. But I know they scored. And I think they scored late, if I'm being honest with you. I think they scored late. So we're going to fast forward this. This is just kind of giving you guys a, a, little, a little showcase of, of what it's all about. 
but you guys have played Pez many, many times, right? We all know what it's about. Did they score from a free kick? Oh, no, there was the substitution. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. Comedy gold. So watch this. Mount had a free kick. Smack the bar. I forgot to really <laughs> take control of David De Gea. I got it completely wrong. And then it was a free header for the one and only Mr. Ross Barkley doing the business. This actually went to extra time, by the way. It's crazy. But yeah, I moved the goalie and then I forgot to, to, to press off of L1 and... Um, uh, what's the name? R3. So De Gea didn't actually dive at the right time. I mean, he'd already hit the bar anyway. And then, yeah, Ross Barkley does the rest. So it actually finished, like I said, 1-1. One, one. We're going to go over here now um, to extra time. And this was one of those games. It really was one of these matches because I had a lot of chances in the second half of this extra time. Here we go. Chelsea having a go. Unlucky. And uh, I just couldn't, couldn't put the ball in the net. Couldn't put the ball in the net. Uh, we brought on Ganacho. There he is, as you can see, the young boy. Ganacho actually looks reasonable because we've, we've kind of got his created face. And because he's got that long, you know, that hair that's like that, isn't it? like that. It looks ridiculous on me. Disturbing. Uh, but because he's got that hairstyle, he actually looks reasonable in-game. But anyway, here was Chelsea working it forward. Good interception there. Chance here for Mr. Dallow to bring it forward. Here we go. Bruno Fernandes through the mixer. Yeah, we brought on Hannibal as well. I don't know what that was for a pass. It was pretty bad, to be honest. Absolutely shocking. So what we're going to do is we're going to get to the moment. So here we go. 103 minutes played. Chelsea working it forward. There he is. Mal is it Malassia? Malassia. Malassia. Yeah, he hasn't really got a good face, though. He looks a bit pants. But he's in the game. Uh, so there's Pulisic back inside to Werner. He starts again with Barkley. Got a little bit unfortunate here. Hit Hannibal in the gonads. And then who, who else, folks, but Bashuai? <sighs> Scoring the winner, pretty much. Well, it wasn't the winner because there was still 15 minutes left. But here was the goal itself. Right off Hannibal's... You know, as I say, gonads right there. Ooh. And then it was a good finish. What can you say? There's not going to be a whole lot happening with that. So here we go. Christian Eriksen. I do think Eriksen is going to be a key player for us this season. You just look at Eriksen on the ball compared to someone like Fred and McTominay. And it's just, it's worlds apart, isn't it? It really is. Anyway, here was a chance. It was Ronaldo. I think uh, Ganacho actually had a chance at one point. It was right at the end of the match. Uh, it was frustrating. So now we started dominating, you know, very much like a real match where if you are winning 2-1 in extra time, the team that's winning is probably going to defend a lot more. Uh, Dallow did actually uh, get a foul for that. I don't know how much of a foul it was, to be fair, but, you know, Pez's ways of giving free kicks. So we had a go with uh, Eric Son. Oh, he, he did that not once, but twice. You'll have a look in a minute. Back to Dallow, edge of the box. Chance for Hannibal, big deflection. Bruno Fernandes couldn't get there. And yeah, we just, we kept trying to, Werner doing what Werner does best, losing possession. Ericsson, ooh, and it was just wide. So then we went out for a corner. So we had to, we had to whip it in. It was like, come on, lads, can we get this equalizer? The ball went out wide. We did get another foul, I think right here. Once again, it's not a foul. Referees are atrocious, but it gave us a chance for the free kick. And what do you guys think is going to happen? Huh? Have a look. Ready? Bosh. Keeper did it again. Couldn't believe it. Came back to Ericsson. Puts it in the mixer. And it's going to be another corner. So 190 minutes played. I think this was the chance for Ganacho. It came into the mixer. Varane got up. Deflection. Back to Christian Ericsson. Once again, we're going to fire this into the mixer. And then there was Ganacho, And I, I fluffed it. And there he is, as you can see. He looks reasonable. He looks reasonable because that's kind of how his hair is. But I'm looking forward to seeing what the likes of Ganacho can do. I just really hope the likes of Ten Hag gives them a chance. There's no chance. No chance that he's going to play McFred again. No, please don't do it. But anyway, we only had a few seconds left. And uh, yeah, folks, that's... That's kind of the way it finished. Anyway, there's a little bit of a sneak peek. It really is quite, you know, it is worth it uh, to, to go and play with the new teams and the new kits and everything because it's it's something fresh. There's Hannibal. Obviously, we haven't got the real faces on the console. But it was good fun. I played a few games with it. Did a bit of a Tottenham game against Arsenal and 
yeah, playing with the new boys and just trying to trying to get a feel for it with a new season. It's always enjoyable. Anyway, there's a bit of a showcase for you. We should have won all over them. Uh, but yeah, go over and if you want to do early access, folks, right there, eFootball Universe, just go to the Plus membership, have a read about it. As I said, it's literally two cups of coffee for the whole year. The price will go up again later, but for now, you can save it for a limited time. Don't ask about it being free. I've, I've said this many, many times. It'll be free later, possibly. But you're not signing up for just an option file. You're signing up for a membership with content all year round. This is going to actually evolve into an eFootball option file, edit mode, all that stuff. And then we're going to have graphic packs and lots of other things. So if you want to support us, fantastic. If you don't, no hard feelings. But anyway, till next time, subscribe for more. Take care and we'll be back running the daily content very soon. Once FIFA hits, bash, 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 bosh. We're going to be there. Till next time, take care.